Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Sosbidia, true and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, where you join me here as the King of Serbia. The throne is mine. Now, some people might say that I backstabbed the previous king while he was off on crusade, but screw it, the throne's mine, he's in prison, nobody cares what those losers have to say. So, I'd say today we need to kick things off by testing my strength because, uh, yeah, I've got some expansion plans. And victim number one, here we go, Venice. Everyone is on board, we're going after Sagna, and boom. Right, absolutely lovely. So, we're at war. Raise up my personal troops. We can probably do without actually bothering with the vassals uh, for now. 3,000 on troops is... Uh, Enough. And again, would help settle the score here just in case. Okay, you know what? Bring everyone together. We'll raise the vassals only if and when we need them. So you guys are tossing about a thousand in there immediately. And you're going to try and hunt me down. That's all fine. And okay, you need to stop revoking things. Seriously, stop it. And here we go. This is what I wanted to say. So, we're marching into mountains right now, but Arvo is a mountain specialist. He's good at this. Peyron is a murdering specialist. He will kill literally anyone. And Orestes, uh, well, if he gets stabbed, he gets stabbed. Oh no, what a shame. We're all going to be very sad. So, troops move in up the mountain, please. Honestly, this is all going to be... Uh, excellently good news uh, because yeah we massively outnumber them i don't care if we're marching up a mountain uh, you my good man are in trouble orestes is going up against literally nothing i'm pushing up against their toughest forces in the center but nothing's gonna stand in pay runs way all right nothing and now orestes uh, momentarily uh, will be turning in to provide some additional fire at the side there and okay my diviner wants me to chill the flip out. So, okay. I could take it easy. And that's only a 50% chance of losing stressed. I mean, I'm guaranteed to lose diligent. And I'm going to lose more stats too. And I'm not even guaranteed to lose stress. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Alright. Keep on working. Back to the battle, please. And now I'm a reaver. If we're lucky, we're more likely to have, you know, caught some people that we can sell and thus make some very, very good money. Right, nice easy victory there. Sadly didn't catch anyone, actually. But yeah, that army is now weak enough that there's not much chance he's going to be doing much to me. And because we caught a thousand of them out of position, you have just hired some people, haven't you? Uh, yeah, you've hired 3,000 people. Okay, well, if you're going to do that, I'm glad I saw it. Uh, raise up my... They're already there. Okay, they they went in by boat. Uh, where are you actually trying to, to get to right now? I don't know, but summon the vassals, all right? We need all of the vassals right now, and I hope Burbat's doing well. Um, I'm going to be honest, we already get on really well with him. Sacrifice the prestige. Let's just ask him directly. All troops... Please head in this direction. Respond to Signa as fast as you can, please. I need everyone on board for this one. And unmoved by my concern. Apparently we don't know each other well enough. I mean, we know each other pretty well, mate. Okay, troops, just start moving. So you are moving back to Zeta. You're going to start sieging that place down. That's on planes. Okay, now that... That works for me, because one, you're actually suffering from attrition right now, which is good. And two, on planes, Perrin is basically unstoppable. So you send all the mercenaries you flipping want, all right? It ain't gonna work out for ya. In fact, it would appear he's coming in my direction. But why? Okay, not sure where you're going or what your plan is, or... Hello over there. Arrange marriage and... Okay. Hang hang the flip on here. Oh! Oh my! Um, that's... That's the King of Bohemia. Um, well, I wasn't expecting this, Your Majesty. But I'll gladly accept it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to decline this for now. Just because I'd like to uh, discuss other options. 
for you. Yes, your wife's just died. Okay, so that is... Uh, that's my half-sister that is deemed to be a close member. Is that good enough to actually get me uh, a non-aggression pact? I mean, it's got the big thing, so I think so. Screw it, I'm just going to say yes. That is perfectly acceptable to me. Have fun. So, as a result of that... Oh, you get yourself a fancy hat. Well done. You've done well for yourself. Yes, I've now got a non-aggression pact with these guys. Good. So that's close enough relationship. So, in theory, just in theory... Oh, we could form an alliance. We could form a flipping alliance. Okay. Now. Now things are starting to happen here. Bohemia... Me and you, we need to be friends against the Catholic bastards. And tragically, 500 men are about to be caught out of position by these guys. You bring everything together. That's... That's actually only... Oh, that's not that much. Okay. You stay here for the time being. Okay, this just worries me a little bit now. So... I'm going to abandon this territory for the moment. I'm going to fall back towards... Are there any more mountains or anything? Uh, no, there's some hills back over here. All right, start falling back in this direction. We have got money. All right, get ourselves a handful of mercenaries uh, just to back us up. If they want to play that game, I will play that game. Here we go. Band of the Hippo, cheap as chips, but should give us the edge. Is that enough? Is that going to be enough, really? Would I rather go for a safer option here? Like the Allen Riders or... You guys, by the way, you get... Ooh, horse archers, la -dee da Uh, no. Let's go for some lovely... That's horse archers too. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's go for some proper mercenaries. We've got the flipping money for it. You guys, uh, start moving in this direction. Join up with this lot. And, in fact, you actually... Fall back to here. You come to here. We will try and join everybody together. All right. I'm not risking this to a handful of flipping mercenaries. Because sometimes mercenaries are not nothing. So naturally, you're rushing down there to Segna. Understandable. If we can, we might be able to pick off some of these guys nice and easy. What are you guys doing right now? Come on. Just start moving in this direction. Just start looping around. Yeah, you want to take care of that. Everybody's now good. Good, good, good. So everybody start moving together towards Donji Kranji. Because Donji Kranji, that's mountains. They don't want to take us on there. You're going to try and siege these guys down. But it's going to take you uh, a few weeks to do. So we're just going to bring everyone together. Then we're just going to flipping smother you. Then we can break the mercenaries straight down again. Boom. No problem whatsoever. In fact, now you're trying to walk to this territory over here. Forest. Okay. I could probably get there before he does. And then have my mercenaries back me up momentarily. How close are you to arriving, by the way? You're going to be... Ah, you're already locked. So you must be almost there. And uh, yeah, you'll be arriving in a moment. But yeah, with Organizer, I've got to be able to beat him into the forest. Then I will have the defender's advantage and, uh, give it a few days, I'll have the numeric advantage too. Okay, try and begin moving. Who's going to have the advantage? Yes, I will have the advantage. Good. Good, good, good. Now, are you going to try and back off because you're scared at that point? Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. I'm going to beat him into the forest. So, me, I'm getting into the forest first. And then uh, we've already got the reinforcements coming in momentarily. Then we've got even more reinforcements coming in. And my wife is pregnant while I was away on campaign. Highly suspicious. Okay, so. So, 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 so. Now I've got myself... Where did Orestes go? Where did cocking Orestes go? Oh, there we go. And we've captured everybody too. I love Reva. I flipping love Reva. Right, we'll be taking both of you prisoner, actually. Oh, the Hungarians just woke up. Hang on, what are the Hungarians doing? Going to war against Dan the Drunkard in a holy war for this area. They'll probably be able to win that one too without too much difficulty. So good call there. 
And now it's just a case of, yeah, doing a bit of besieging. This should be no problem whatsoever. Bring everyone together, please. And Orestes, I want Orestes on the flanks. My wife is apparently uh, chatting. So, okay, nice and cheerful. She should rest, health up, or diplomacy up, stewardship down. She doesn't have a job right now, does she? She's just my wife. So, uh, yeah, she can just rest. So get her health up. Ah, I'm hurting the kingdom's stewardship. Just a tiny bit, though. Yeah, let's make sure she's nice and healthy. So, uh, that'll be a nice easy one. Those mercenaries will be back for another go sooner or later, but it shouldn't be a problem at all. And got myself a daughter born to Orestes. Okay, Gregoria. And uh, Kyra. I like that one. So, or possibly Kira, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. So that's my granddaughter, I believe. Yes, my granddaughter. And apparently my wife is seeming nice and chill. Good. This is all very positive indeed. Okay, so we're now just going to knock over Segna. Shouldn't be a problem. And, oh, hello. We've got ourselves something important here. Hello over there, by the way. Uh, yes. So, this guy just died in my dungeons, which was not my fault. Meaning as a result of that, a small child has now inherited, uh, yeah, some land, uh, duchy title, yeah, both of these territories, uh, and also the Duchy of Pannonia. Now, he doesn't actually hate me, however, which is pretty bloody good news. And the heir now is uh, a prince who is, uh, hang on, working for, ooh. Okay, that's a concern. Next in line to the throne is actually... Uh, this guy over here. Ah, but he doesn't have land. So he would just move back from Epirus to claim that territory if need be. Okay, not a problem. Also, I think I might be able to, yeah, beat you into this territory. Advantage will be, yep, advantage will be mine. So let's just move in over here. And now you're actually holding still. That's planes. Uh, oh, I'm already locked, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to hunt down that army and beat them again. And now, okay, combat's going to initiate here. Because I'm going to beat them in there. This is just planes combat. So this is absolutely fine. So yeah, this should be no issue whatsoever. And uh, have some gossips dispatched. Go on, I'm the king. I've got the money. Make it happen. So that's going to make her healthy and happy. So now she's got a couple of gossips there. And this fight should be going just fine. And Orestes doing a competent job there. And who have we got? Oh, hello. Have we actually got ourselves the flipping leader of Venice himself? I mean, I'm not sure where he is. He's not, he's not supposed to be here. Well, apparently he is. So, okay. I am going to flipping duel you myself. Which is apparently a thing that I can do. And... It's a good day for a duel, I chuckle, hefting my axe of Perrin in my hand. Enough talking my opponent growls. Soon, he is lying face down in the dirt, as I've seen to injure him. Okay, so I take it I win the fight. He becomes wounded. Ooh, I show no mercy, and he just flipping dies. Is there any downside to that? I mean, not really, I've just flipping murdered him. And actually, that means next in line to the throne is a little baby with no martial skill. Um, yeah, I'm going to be murdering you now. Bye. Uh, so there we go. Actually, no, there's just been a new election. So someone else has just taken over. Uh, but that's fine. Great Republic of Venice is not doing so hard these days. And uh, not sure. Maybe he was in this tiny army over here. Maybe there was like a secondary army belonging to Venice. I'm not sure. Still, we've won. And we've captured... <laughs> Bloody hell. We're just capturing everybody. It's great. And a pregnancy for a concubine too. Good. The pregnancies are starting to step up here. You meanwhile are screwed. There's... Okay. I'm about to take on another tiny, tiny group. So we'll just murder them too, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. More victories. More prestige. More war score. More everything. Okay. So I've accidentally caused an election in which someone who's very good at fighting has just actually been promoted to the head of Venice, which is maybe a bit unfortunate and... What the bloody hell? Okay. Um, he's over there. So we should... <laughs> we should go and murder him in a minute. Okay, so we're going to go and murder the new king of Venice too, because now he's just chilling out over here and also there's Sol's host. 
Okay, um, there's all of a sudden a lot of trouble everywhere. Hang on, I will deal with this one at a time. Number one, send my troops up onto this mountain to murder these bastards before these forces get drawn together. I want a nice easy victory against the Venetian king. So this should be no problem whatsoever. Yeah, we're just chasing them off. No problem. Their center's already collapsed. We're barely even going to lose any troops here. They are flipping at collapsing. I love it. Ah, now this is good. I've got myself a new son. Maybe a better son. I don't know yet. It's too young to say. But this guy, this guy could be important, damn it. Okay, I'm going to call him Achilleus right now. I've got a good feeling about this kid. If he turns out terrible, this is going to be an embarrassing name. That, by the way, is the actual Hellenic form of Achilles, by the way. Achilles is like the Latinized form. Achilles, the Greek form. So we're going to call him that. It's going to be great. By the way, we've won this. Oh, blimey, there's... There's more pregnancies. Okay, I think we've got triple pregnancies going on right now. A lot of pregnancy going on. Where are you going, by the way? You're going down to here. That is planes. Oh, you do. You do not want to fight me on planes. All right, I'm just going to come and murder you in the mountains, all right? I'm good at murdering people in the mountains. And another fight kicks off on this occasion. Oh, you don't even actually have a flank. That's, that's unfortunate for you. So, as I'm a reaver... I've got a really good feeling about this. Let's capture ourselves a second flipping head of Venice in as many days. Come on. Let's flipping have him. Oh, he's gone. And we've captured... Is that the actual patrician? It's a patrician. He's not actually the leader of Venice. No. But he does actually have something. Okay, sadly, the leader got away. In prison with you, please. And before we go and deal with that business, I don't know who you are, but you are actually sieging down one of my friends. So I'm going to go and assist with that because I do have 5,000 troops just chilling out right here. And yeah, I am reinforcing nice and fast. How's our money doing, by the way? We're losing it, but it's fine. All right, just go and help out my friends first and maybe some other time. I feel like that guy likes me enough, by the way. I think we're good. Yeah, 100 out of 100. Maybe stop trying to sway him. And it would appear all of these people are worth 25 gold each. So, I'll gladly be helping myself to a little bit of uh, ransom money. Love that reaver. Okay, those guys taken care of. No problem whatsoever. I murdered Sol of Sol's host single-handedly. I assume you are nice and appreciative of that, given I just came and flipping saved you from rebels. And now, it would appear... Oh, good. The leader of Venice is once again, uh-oh, um, called the King of Hungary in. Uh-oh. Okay, um, so apparently Venice has the ability to call in Hungary to help out. We need this war to end, like, now, actually. I'm not really ready to be taking on Hungary this second. Luckily, Hungary's a bit busy. Their armies are going to be way over here. So they'll be out of the way for now. And if I just capture the King of Venice, we can end this immediately. All right, it's going to be great. And there's forests here, but forests are nothing. Right, get in there, capture him. You're a reaver. This is the one thing you're really, really damn good at. My center is just crushing his right there. Okay, another daughter. We will name her Pauline in honor of Pauline. That is reasonable. Got plenty of children right now. Yeah, you are, you're falling apart. And there we go. He's now retreating. And apparently Pauline is feeble. Save her, please. You're a very good doctor. You're a mystic and whatnot. You're very clever. And come on, get me the king. Well, we've got three people. Are any of them, who have we actually caught? Okay, none of these people appear to be... How have we caught three people, but none of them are one of the three commanders? I mean, I guess it's good. I'm just not sure how we did it. Oh, they're barely even worth any money either, dear oh flipping dear. Oh, here comes Hungary. Okay, but they're not trying to attack me. They appear to be moving down towards my territory, which is... Uh-oh. No, they are coming this way. They are coming this way. Um, but hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think you'll find, actually, I am very, very capable of kicking the ass of people inside Donji Kraji. Here we go. Get up into the mountains. Intercept them, please. He's still coming. 
He's still- No, he's holding still now. Now he's holding still, uh, which is fine. That means he can't advance because we can always get into the mountains faster than he can. And we can take down this city faster than he can take down this one. And when we take down this city and thus control uh, the entire region, at that point, we should be golden. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, this is what I want to say. Just keep a really close eye on the Hungarians, because if they start moving, I need to be ready to move in return. So, watch closely. And some more points too, thank you. I mean, I could hire more mercenaries to assist. I feel like I don't need it, and I'm losing troops to events. This is not good. Orestes just sent me a puppy. Everything is forgiven. We're going to call this dog Hunter, because I am literally a hunter right now. Okay, Orestes, fair enough. Thank you for that. That's very kind. Oh, he's trying to move in again. Okay, as he's trying to move, intercept him. If he's stupid enough to... Yep, yeah, and then he gives up. We can block him. Oh, we can block ya. Yeah. Come on, come and do it. No, no, he doesn't want to. Fair enough. Okay, now, now you're starting to annoy me. Now you're starting to... Oh, hang on, are you... Now you're both giving up. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. This is, this is ridiculous. Does that, wait, does that reset the siege? Does that reset the siege? Oh, bloody hell. Okay. So, this is unfortunate. And my siege bin. Yes, all the sieges I think have just got reset. Good, 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 good. Okay, forget this nonsense. Just barge in. With 11% remaining, we're just going to go in and we're going to assault the place directly. It's going to be expensive in terms of men, but it's going to get us 100%. Boom. That's all we needed. Now it doesn't matter. Now I can force the war shut. Screw you. Okay. Cost me a few men, but that was the right thing to do. Bloody hell, that was that was supposed to be an in-out 10-minute war. Bloody hell. Right. I'll be having that territory. Screw you. And you, consider yourself lucky you were not caught by me. And just create a handful of vassals for this lot. There we go. Some nice, grateful nobodies. And the city itself, I shall keep for myself. Also, I now have enough money to become the king of Croatia. Well, that's of interest. That would give me... That would give me a fair few rights. No rights I don't already have, though. Well, actually, rights to these two territories as king of Croatia... That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'm not in a rush to do it though, because it is expensive. But keep it in mind as an option. Also, anytime the society would like to acknowledge I just literally did the thing they asked me to do. And there we go. That better be worth a lot there. So, okay. The guys in the actual lodge like me. And 300 renown. That's pretty damn good. That's almost enough to level up. In fact, I believe I've got myself... Yes, warrior training. May as well do some of that. Go for it. And what do I actually get to learn? Pillar of the Plains. I thought I was already Pillar of the Plains. And no, I'm a flat terrain expert. So now 20% plus in Plains. And on top of that, another 20% morale damage. Okay, wow. So, at this point in Plains, I am just ludicrous. I am an unstoppable plane murder machine. And Princess Zoe's ready for education too, and... Hmm. Okay. She's got herself some good stewardship there. I believe in you, Zoe. Don't let me down. Oh, and good news over on the council, by the way. Guess what? Everyone has decided they flipping love me. Burbat is now a flipping loyalist. Hudan is, of course. And yeah, Eusebios, loyalist as well. That means, uh, with my vote being the casting vote, as I'm the seventh vote after these six, now I can push through literally anything I want. Which is absolutely magnificent because uh, we do need to actually get in play. Uh, there we go. Late administration. We are going to be needing that very, very soon indeed. And yeah, pretty much now, uh, literally anything I could actually push through. Including if I wanted to, yeah, noble obligations up to... Wow, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But I'd rather make sure this happens, okay? Because uh, very soon indeed, uh, we're going to be ready to change the succession. I want to say very soon indeed. How long have I actually been king? Because it's not that long, is it? 
Actually, it has been a while. It's been nearly six years. So, uh, when we hit May of 916, we should be able to change the succession law if my vassals are chilling out. Now, right now, some of my vassals, admittedly, are not chill. But, we can take care of that by murdering them. And there we go, the votes come in, and thanks to the loyalists, this vote cannot possibly lose. Hooray for me. There we go. So, that is going to mean very soon, primogeniture will be ready. Whether we necessarily want primogeniture, that's, that's another question. Because, uh, to be honest, Orestes is... Uh, Deeply uninteresting in many ways, but screw it, we may just have to accept him. I mean, it's better than the Empire repeatedly breaking apart, and... Uh, okay, you want me to do... Uh, hang on, no, 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 sorry. I'm not attacking the Byzantine Empire, goodbye. But I will worship the ancestors a bit, as you've reminded me to respect my pagan obligations. That's absolutely fine. So, uh, affection, companionship, sword in battle... Prosperity and growth, ancestors' wisdom. Okay, as I'm in fact much more mighty than the last time we did this, let's go for flipping sword in battle. Ooh, though, um, speaking of battle, apparently, yeah, um, these massive series of wars I've been involved in have taken their toll on me. I think I might actually be suffering from PTSD right now, so, uh, my mind is trapped in, uh, Vegelia, where, of course, we just had, uh, the last war, and probably, yeah, the mountain of skulls around Donji Kranji as well, so uh, sometimes I can't breathe. Okay, this seems very bad, so uh, I shall never be close to anyone again, except celibacy. Okay, um, I mean, uh, how many children uh, do I have right now? Like, I've only got one spare son, that's not many. Option number two, solitude, that's depressed, that's not good. That's stats down, fertility and health. Together with, yeah, my personal combat skill going down. I need to feel alive again. Come here, servant. Oh, blimey, okay, that's, that's a bit interesting. I mean, lustful's not bad. Lustful's not bad at all, but drunk is, uh, that is bad. That is bad right there. Stewardship down by another two. Uh, personal combat skill down by ten. Church opinion minus five is not that significant. I mean, it might be worth it just for lustful. Which is, yeah, bonus fertility. And then enough of these feelings. Uh, by pay run, I'll punch someone. So that is uh, wrath and stressed. Both of those guaranteed. Uh, wrath is... Uh, Actually, not bad, all things considered. I did freely accept that on my father, but yeah. Then we've got stressed, which is obviously uh, not good, uh, and 15% chance of depression regardless. Oh, that's... that's tricky. Those are both guaranteed. Oh, this is... this is not fun, which I suppose is fair, because it's an event about having a catastrophic mental breakdown after being exposed to too much warfare. Ah, but don't forget, I'm already stressed, so that one isn't relevant, so, uh, yeah, in that case, I think we'll go for enough of these feelings, I guess I'll just punch someone, because uh, Payrun's undergone a bit of a radical personality shift, but whatever, I'll accept Wrath, and then, uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, we didn't get unlucky there, we just picked up the actual Wrath, not the Depressed. Now, I am still stressed, but I was already stressed, and uh, Brawny is more than enough to offset that. Brawny is plus health, stress to ease at minus, stay in hunting. We are still very healthy next to an average character, and uh, 27 Marshall ain't nothing. Ah, uh, yes, that offering. So, obviously we can accept uh, severely injured and one-eyed. No, don't do that. Terrible idea. But, we have got someone here. I can, aha! Are you any chance in, like, prison right now? Yes, whoever you are, you're in my prison right now. And uh, I could actually sacrifice you for piety. And presumably a human sacrifice is good, right? Um, do we actually know, like, who this guy is? Okay. Um, whoever you are, you work for this guy who works for... Okay, so you're just some Catholic I just captured during the last war. So, 
good news, you're being sacrificed to Payrun. Congratulations. So, he's been offered up in sacrifice. Hopefully, the ancestors are very, very happy about that. Because I'm not sure what this event does. I'm just sacrificing people because I feel like it, to be honest. Still, good increase in the number of troops here. Another three marshal does not hurt at all. So, uh, yeah, we should get a good number of troops out of these territories. Uh, however, yeah, some of these are still under new administration. So, uh, levy reinforcement rate is uh, extremely bloody slow. And yeah, we shouldn't expect any levy from here whatsoever for the time being. Still, more techs coming in. That's good news. What have we actually uh, got available right now? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do we need to do here? Majesty would be... Ah, piety, prestige, diddly diddly dee. Ooh, short year reign. Then again, right now it's... Oh. Okay, another two just to get it down by one year. Not spectacular, really. I wouldn't mind noble customs. Just because an extra plus three to all of my noble vassals, which is now more important than it used to be. Yeah, make that happen immediately. That's important. Meanwhile over here, trade practices. Not so important for me, I don't think. So, uh, construction. Alright, so that is uh, local build, cost, time, and also great works, which are of course new since the last time I played. So, okay. There's also some infantry. Wouldn't mind my infantry being a bit better. Hang on. What's most of my actual, you know, force here? Raise these guys up. So, uh, yeah, we're heavily dependent on infantry, particularly heavy infantry, which is good. So, uh, okay, I'll gladly take some of that. Let's boost up my infantry and uh, save up for a bit more, by the way, because that's archers and uh, light cav. I do have some light cav, but I'd rather save up for military organization as well. Yeah, I'll keep everything else uh, just in hand uh, for the minute, I'd say, unless I want construction. Yeah, take construction. Construction is uh, solid. So now I can do more building. And yes, great works if I want them. So uh, that's a thing I now get to build. Here we go. Great works. These are really, really cocking expensive, by the way. Like, yeah, over a thousand gold up front. And then also three gold a month for the next, like, seven years and eight months. So uh, this is not nothing. And honestly, they don't even seem that good in terms of the benefit. Like, yeah, that statue's really bloody expensive for a very minor reduction in local revolt risk, to my mind. Now, if you were making a lot of money through trade, I will say, Great Harbour, that might be worthwhile, yes. And bear in mind, of course, that is just stage one. So yeah, you can actually add a bunch of, like, features to it. So that's just the basic version, though. Then again, that's, that's really expensive just for bloody stage one by itself. Wouldn't mind some gardens, though. Disease resistance never hurts. Oh, and we've got so many claims right now. Problem is, yeah, don't want to give up, like, a thousand prestige to attack Venice again, though we will be taking Zara off them sooner or later. And while I have a bunch of claims against Hungary, both for myself and for my vassals, uh, yeah, Hungary's a bit too strong at the minute. When their king finally bloody passes on... Which can't take too long, he's bloody 67 right now, so uh, sooner or flipping later, he's going to be gone with his 36 marshal. His heir, nowhere near as good, but Belgrad. That, I've got a right to, because yeah, it's actually part of, uh, hang on, what are you actually part of? I think you're part of the, yes, you're part of the Duchy of Dardania, so uh, I could push that for this guy, or go and claim it, because also, hang on... Yes, it's also technically supposed to be part of the Kingdom of Serbia. So I could go and get that for myself or for this guy. They'll probably hand it over to him anyway, to be honest. So, uh, okay. That's something I can do at some point because I believe uh, Hungary is in bad, bad shape right now. She's got basically uh, nothing and her vassals are currently uh, weak for whatever reason. So, uh, okay. I'm going to leave that be for the time being because seriously... As I keep saying, but then never actually do, I just desperately need to actually let my troops heal up a bit. They're never going to get up to that full 5,000 because, uh, yeah, these territories are going to take some time uh, to charge up. But at the bare minimum, we need to let these three territories, uh, who are absolutely core to the entire empire, they need to fill up their levies again. We need to be back up to strength, damn it. And much more importantly than that, I've got a grown-up dog. Hooray.
Now, the game's also prompted me to negotiate with Olafar to stop him from raiding my land. Not 100% sure he actually is raiding my land, so maybe he's, like, on his way in. Is that you? Ah! There you are! Okay, 1,500 men, and you are moving into my territory. Okay, may as well have a chat with you, figure out what you want, and... Uh, once again, he potentially wants to be given uh, this territory. Okay. So, uh, you, my good man, are not very good. Norse, Germanic. You don't even have that many men with you. No, I think we'll just be doing the murder thing, actually. Which is annoying, because once again, I'd very much like to not murder and just let troops recover. But whatever, you're the one who decided to be a dick about this. Bring the troops together, please. Uh, Bring them together. We're going to deal with this asshole now. Money flows through the trade port in Travunia, but your relationship with the merchant family that owns it has soured. Okay, this is... Uh, Ragusa. Honestly, me and Ragusa sort of get on just fine these days. We haven't been to war for bloody ages, so this guy is... Uh, yeah, actually, we're, um, we're fine with each other, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, then again, hang on. This guy, meanwhile... Ah, he does sort of hate, yeah, the Emperor, because the Emperor tried to murder his child, which would make sense, yes. But I'm happy to just stand by, to be honest, alright? No, things could get out of control here. We're gonna let this one be. Also, can't help but notice that Oliver's not even raiding my land game. He's raiding someone else's land. But I may as well go and take care of him, because he will eventually get to me. And my spy master wants, ah, I love this event, yeah, provincial messenger system. Just for 12 gold, you get prosperity up. Prosperity is never a bad thing. Basically, always flipping take that, especially as, yeah, that was down over here in Zaglumia. Now, that territory is already pretty prosperous. So let's just keep investing in that one. And you, by the way, are ready to be uh, pulled together. And yeah, pay run is very much going in up front. But uh, as for the rest of it, no, 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 no. Bring in the guy who's actually, you know, good at this here job. And uh, bring in Orestes. If he happens to get himself murdered, good. Oh, and these idiots are actually currently, yeah, on planes. Well, 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 well. I've got really, really bad news for you guys about how well Payrun fights on planes these days. Because it's slightly ludicrous. Oh, Apparently we, um, we can't fight this guy right now, because he's technically not- Okay, he was raiding me just a second ago. You told me about it, game. Also, why are the Ragusans in my territory? Where are you guys going? Oh, nothing major. They're just actually, yeah, getting involved with uh, that guy who's attacking them. Uh, maybe getting involved in the Jihad, which is going uh, very badly for the Byzantines, yes. Right, troops, stand down. If he re-enters my territory, we'll go and murder him then. Ah, yes, this weird event. So Princess Zenobia is missing a toy. And it doesn't matter whether you buy a new one or try and find it, she might just gain fussy anyway. Though I guess the option is, uh, are you willing to lose prestige to get her to like you? Yes, sure, why not? So, uh, there we go. She's now fussy, which is the only thing that can happen from that event for whatever reason. Which is kind of bad because, yeah, Paranoid's really bad. Patient or Greedy, that's not so bad, though. And, uh, okay, you're just murdering that guy anyway, that's fine. I would, by the way, love to righteously imprison this woman who hates me, but unfortunately she's been in hiding for, basically, as far as I'm aware, the last two decades. So, as a result of that, I can't even attempt to arrest her. It's very annoying because she refuses to stop hiding. And some bastard next door is trying to, oh dear. Right, that's, that's less good actually. A Byzantine individual is potentially going to try and get a claim on me. Now whether he can actually persuade his liege to act on it is another thing, but... Okay, if they want to try, they can try. I'd rather they didn't and I'd rather just make him disappear. And by the way, we're out back looking for the white stag. Nope, once again that event failed. That event always seems to bloody fail. You know what? This guy's nice and easy to assassinate. We'll just hand out a little bit of money here and then get some lovely people on board to assist with the assassination. Beautiful. 
there we go. 246% plot power. So he should be dying sooner rather than later. Now, known plots. We got ourselves... Oh dear. Okay, don't try and kill Arvo. Arvo's great. Excuse me. No, 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 no. And... Oh dear. Who are you precisely? Ah! You're actually not part of my territory. You're part of... Ah! The Finnish band. Who I lured him away from. They've decided if, uh, yeah, for whatever reason they can't have him, no one can. By the way, my renown must be going up like, wow, okay. My renown is going up fast, love it. Okay, the bare minimum, I could tell Gordana to just stop flipping plotting, please. Maybe then she'll come out of cocking hiding. Oh, and obviously Gordana the Noble is actually backing that plot too. No, 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 please stop backing the plot, hang on. Need to tell her to end one plot, then potentially she needs to end a different plot. And, okay, apparently we've come across a beautiful young woman in the wild during the hunt. So, I really shouldn't. Or, cheery. Okay, also lustful. I mean, lustful's not bad, to be honest. A tiny loss of piety, but fertility up and intrigue is uh, not bad at all, so uh, screw it. Sure, I'm going to become cheerful after a bit of a roll in the hay. And uh, do I actually want an extra court person? Actually, would you officially be a concubine or would you just be in court? No, you know what? This is nice, but I have to go now. Goodbye. Okay, that stupid bishop is going to be taken care of very soon indeed, hopefully. And as for you, annoyingly, you won't stop backing this plot just because uh, you kind of hate me. Okay, understandable, to be honest. But unfortunately, yeah, they're not really in a position to make the plot happen for the time being. 90% is nowhere near enough. And honestly, even if they did kill Arvo, he's like 66 or something already. Yeah, he's not going to be around for too much longer anyway. We'll just go and find a new commander if need be. Oh, bloody hell. Um, okay, so... The Jihad was, um, more successful than I was expecting. Like, half the Byzantine Empire just flipping naffed off. I mean, I thought you were just gonna take, like, Anatolia, which is like this little bit in the middle. It's like, uh, yeah, this bit right here. But no, uh, no, the, um, the Jihad for Anatolia just took, like, all of cocky Turkey. Oh, that's, that's not... Great. I mean, this isn't entirely a historical. Uh, you know, the Byzantine Empire did lose a lot of modern-day Turkey, but uh, oh, this is not not good actually. And I could have sworn the Knights Templar already existed. Oh, and we've got something interesting here. So, uh, the Duke of Pannonia, who, in all fairness, I think he's very chill with me right now. Bear in mind, this is actually, yeah, the son of the previous king. So I did sort of steal his throne and rob him of his birthright and take half his land off him. And, you know, kind of indirectly murdered his father. But he's actually at, um, plus 45 with me. Because, you know, there's gavel kind succession, the liege's kind, that counts for something, that's... Also, hang on, cheery. Oh, because I'm currently cheerful. Because I had sex with a random woman in the woods. He actually likes me more because of the level of cheerfulness. In fact, he likes me a lot more than I like him. Which is downright weird, but whatever. Ooh, and here's interesting. This kid would actually accept being educated because of his height. Oh, well, this is suddenly very interesting. So, uh, yeah, actually, as this kid is currently, uh, hang on, 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 you're currently Catholic and Serbian, so, okay, well, I'm glad we noticed this here, yes, let's actually just, um, assign a guardian to you, and you, my good man, you're actually kind of perfect, you are Greek and Slavic, let's see if we can maybe just, uh, sway him a little bit here, let's see if we can make that happen. Though, yeah, he also wants to be owed a favour. Favours are not good, to be honest. And bear in mind, uh, right now he's a child. In ten years' time, uh, he's actually going to want to be on, you know, uh, the council. Because he will be powerful at that point. No, I'm going to say no. Money's fine for the time being. 
though. Oh, there we go. That idiot's dead who was trying to get a claim on me. The question is, will you still accept the guardianship now you're at 30? Or does that mean you're going to refuse? And, uh, oh dear. We've got ourselves another dying wife here. That's fine. Call the court physician. He's a good doctor. And like, you know, well, he's a mystic. It'll flip and do. And, uh, okay. Good, good, good. He has accepted uh, a guardian. This is, uh, yeah, good news, actually. In fact, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Now, we could make him adopt my heritage, uh, or my faith. Yeah, you know what? Let's just quickly do that, actually. So now he's actually being educated by one of mine. We're going to raise this guy as a good, honest pagan. In fact, now I'm starting to wonder whether we can make this happen further afield. Burbat loves me too. He's got a 13-year-old kid. Oh, is that too old to re-educate him? Okay, let's see what we're willing to do here. Oh my goodness, he's also willing to hand over his son to the same guy. Boom! Flipping done. Okay, so just let that get confirmed as well. So now we got paganism around here. More paganism over here. By the way, you're going to be... No, you're too old anyway. Well, screw it. It's not a bad idea to actually educate these people by myself. Okay. Is this good for anybody else? Does anyone else have any, like, you know, young baby heirs or something who, in theory, we could make that happen with? Okay, Hudden's little baby son, Aeroneos, is actually orthodox. Now, that I'm fine with. I'm fine with orthodoxy. That's not a problem, though. Where did you actually pick that up from? Ah, from your mother. Got it, because Antigone was herself orthodox. Now, I'm fine with that. It's good to have a bit of a blend here. But yeah, we just want to mainly... Get rid of Catholicism as far as we can. And with those two guys, potentially, well, these guys down here. Sadly, up here in Pex, that's not going to fly. But we're making a move in the right direction, at least. Okay, back to this unfortunate business over here. Which is, yes, right now the Emperor still has a, a good solid number of troops. In fact, yeah, once he's actually recharged, he'll be up to a, a good, what is that, uh, 11, 12,000. Uh, rest news is not bad. There are some hired troops as well. This group right here. Who are you precisely? Oh. Okay. You own a lot of land, but not actually that many troops. So, a couple of good de jure claims. We should be able to pick you apart a bit over time. Oh yeah. Bulgaria is looking weak right now. They're in a lot of trouble. They're being raided and raided some more. And... Okay, we're... Wow. Okay. My relations with the Hungarian king. Oh, they're still minus 100. Okay, you didn't do that much. I'm feeling like now might be a very good time for me to make a move on Belgrade. Because if anyone does anything stupid, like the Hungarians in particular, we've got the money for some good mercenaries. My troops are looking... They're looking good enough. There's plenty of troops floating around for the time being. We should be able to just basically, yeah, walk in here, take some of this, use my own troops to gain a bit of war money. This one shouldn't be a problem because, and I'm going to double check this because this is now becoming more and more important. Yeah, this person doesn't have any significant friends. They don't have any allies. They've got nobody they can call into the fight. Need to be aware now, Venice and Hungary are friends. War on one is war on both of them. Also, I have so bloody many reasons uh, to actually claim uh, this area. Oh my, okay, so uh, I can extort tribute. I've got all my pagan excuses to just attack basically uh, whatever the hell I wanted to. I could claim uh, de jure for this little duchy or de jure for kingdom. So, uh, okay, if I do that, then, uh, ah, Countess Teresa actually moves into uh, my empire. If I do it this way, then... Okay, Hudden picks up Countess Teresa. So in both cases, we don't actually get Belgrade directly unless I actually just go and take it myself. Then I do, so... I kind of may as well just do that, to be honest, because then, yeah, we don't have to deal with a small Catholic girl. That's... 
That's definitely for the better. Like, this way, I can go and take it for myself and then give it to my lovely loyal friend over here. He'll love me even more than he does. Then again, he already kind of loves me. But that is going to wear off in a few years. I'd rather keep him, like, super, super sweet. And this is just more territory for me and my vassals. Then again, if I'm not getting this territory myself... Is there even much point? Like, it's one tiny bit of extra land. This guy, he doesn't really have much in the way of strength right now. He's not providing me with much strength. Ah, screw it. Land is land. Let's make it happen. Council's 100% on board. Let's flip and go. Oh, and better and better, this territory is plains. So, uh, good luck beating me in this fight, you stupid losers. Oh, and bloody hell, there's another jihad straight away. Uh, yeah, the papacy's already starting to, uh, dissolve, to be honest, and yeah, now there's gonna be another jihad to clear it out entirely. Okay, guys, anytime you're ready for a crusade, it feels like, yeah, they've done two jihads to only one crusade. Now would be a good time. Also, after years of careful planning, my spy master, I'm pretty sure, has decided to press his claim by force. What claim? Um, okay, yeah, this guy was from abroad, so he's just naffing off somewhere. Does that mean he's no longer my spy master? I think he's no longer my spy master. Also, yeah, no resistance whatsoever here. We're just going to be walking in and taking this. Right, so, yeah, I don't have a spy master right now. That's kind of unfortunate. Still, good opportunity for a new one. Ideally, someone nice and loyal, so... Uh, my concubine would be a good guaranteed vote, yes, but she's uh, hardly well qualified, to be honest. Then again, maybe the most important thing for a spy master is, uh, yeah, someone super loyal. Because if they go even a little bit unloyal, yeah, that could be problems. I tell you what, we got someone of the right religion over here, Polish guy, Bezprem. So, uh, yeah, no claims on him whatsoever, uncomplicated guy, 21. In intrigue. He is ambitious, but he also, uh, yeah, likes me. Because, uh, same religion. Acts of Pay Run seriously helps with that. So, uh, go on. You can come and do that job. That's fine. I've got enough loyalists on the council for now. Ah, but this is interesting. So, turns out, of course, yeah, Hungary has jumped on board with the latest defense against this whole Egypt situation. So, uh, there is a bit of an organized response going on here, which is good. There's also a major, wow, there's a major Slavic uprising. I can deal with that. That's fine. Let's have a new tiny independent Slavic power. Me and it could be friends. Oh, and this guy is paying for himself already. Tech points have just started uh, flooding in. I love it. Nothing I want to rush to though. Majesty I can do without for now. Yeah, let's just leave this be for the time being. Save up for some big important stuff. And yeah, even with the army standing right now, we're just about making a profit together with money coming off the sieges. So uh, we'll make a modest profit by doing this. And by the way, who's just committed a... Okay, she's always committed crime. Stop telling me about it. My new spy master is trying out a new plan to get rid of intruders. He's been splashing soap on all the floors to make it hazardous to move around. Okay, so now I've got a 40% chance of becoming wounded from the soap he's splashing around. Which I just picked up. I just fell on the soap. Okay, maybe we should have just got my wife to do this. I feel like this guy is... Maybe we just need to check his personality traits here. Um, gluttonous, ambitious, envious, diligent, quick. Not that quick. He just put soap on my floor and now I'm injured. Okay, Princess is Zenobia. Tell me what you've got going on in your life right now. Okay. Not bad. Let's go for an intrigue education for you. Base of 8 at age 12. Not bad. Fussy. Not bad. Let's see what we get there. Oh, and here we go. Rank up in society, please. Yes. Oh, we're just ranking up so fast. I'm getting renown ludicrously quick. I'm still in like 38 as well. Assuming I don't slip on any more cocky soap, Fez Prim. Should actually live a good long life. And uh, there we go. Up to flipping veteran. Get myself a new fancy shield. And now, 
now I can start inspiring some warriors, which is really bloody good. Right, so, we've taken Belgrade. Uh, problem is, that's only actually uh, 23%. Okay, you don't actually have much of an army, though, do you? No. Not really. And possibly you've just nipped over to do something else to... Yeah, no, hang on. You're the wrong... Oh, The papacy's looking surprisingly good, actually, down there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest. You're sort of in my way right now. So I don't know who you are, but you're hostile to me. So you're going to be murdered now. Ah, here we go. I've got myself a brand new son. Which is sort of good news. Um, okay, so... Constance. No, 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 no. This kid might be important. Admittedly, he's from a concubine, so diplomacy minus one, which is a really minor debuff. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. As one of my children is Achilleus, you boy shall be Hector. Though that maybe does indicate, yeah, they might not get on well later. And, uh-oh. What just happened to poor Ohm? Eusebius committed suicide. That's surprising. I mean, he wasn't depressed. He was kind, patient, diligent, humble, mystic. I suspect foul play here. Right, my wife is actually going to be given that role because she's somewhat qualified for it. And we just need to keep the friendly people on the council, damn it. Oh, but this is good news. We might actually be able to catch the Bulgarian army and maybe the queen herself. Yes, that's what we need to do. Catch her, we can wrap up this war nice and fast. So she's going into Nish, and hang on, is she going to be... Okay, she's going to be locked on the 30th. That's when we need to start moving, because then she won't be able to get out in time. Okay, so now she is locked. She's got to move into Nish. So we will now move down over here. She'll gain a bonus from the hills, but I have got a massive numerical advantage. She cannot escape. So, as I'm going to win anyway, I'm happy to just let this happen, and there we go. So, I don't have my massive plane advantage, but I'm pretty confident... Oh, yeah. Peyron has just destroyed her centre, and the flanks have destroyed... Oh, yeah. We've basically lost nothing, and if we're really lucky, we'll capture. Because, come on, Reva. Come on, Reva. And we've also got a bishop who's... His combat skill is minus 30. I mean, I won't say no because it's dual and battlefield experience. But yes, we're going to go hunt him down. The bishop. And, okay, hang on. Prince Orestes shoved me aside, deciding he wanted to get involved. And apparently he did well. I mean, okay. Well done, Orestes. I appreciate that. And uh, you've got to be uh, nearly dead at this point, right? And who do we capture? We captured the same guy. Right, put him in prison. Sadly, the queen got away. Bit of a shame there. Okay, the queen's decided to come in and try and take back Belgrade while I'm next door. Now, I'll admit, there is a nice big river between me and them. In fact, I believe there's... Hang on, is that river officially? It should be between here and... Uh, yeah, river flows between here and Vidin. So she'll have a river advantage, but... We've overcome disadvantages before. Finish off this stupid city, then we're going to go and murder her. Again. And this time, she's not getting away. Also, oh, I love Reva. Okay, so we've just been capturing people, pulling them out of dungeons, all sorts of bits and pieces. How much money have we got here? Because I suspect we've got some good... Uh, how much are you worth? 10 and... Uh, you're worth 25. Not nothing. Right, get across the river, murder her momentarily, please. She will be absolutely screwed. And then as soon as that's done, we'll sell uh, the other person. Okay, her front's actually collapsed faster than I can click on her. Good, good, good. He's paid for his own release. And come on, let's flipping get her, please. With Reva, come on, capture the queen. Capture the flipping queen, please. And we got up. We have got Ivanka the Chaste. Boom. In fact, clean sweep. Reva picked up literally everybody, actually. So, we've now got the Queen of Bulgaria. Right, so. So, 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 so. I love Reva so much. How much is she in theory worth? And apparently, nothing. No one's actually willing to, uh, yeah, 
arrange for her release. Okay, well, I'm willing to sell everybody else first. I may as well step back into friendly territory, start actually recharging while we're doing all of this. Yeah, so sell all the people before the war ends, just in case. Then we need to decide what we want to do with the Bulgarian Queen. Because now, we could in theory choose, of course, for her next in line to inherit if that works more for me. Okay, everyone else has been ransomed, but we can't ransom her. Is that because you're... Ah, it's presumably because you literally don't have enough money. Okay, so uh, the reason we can't ransom you is no one can actually afford to pay it. All right, all right, all right, all right. And yeah, sadly, we can't do like uh, proposing guardians right now or anything. What can we do? So what we can do is, uh, yeah, humiliate her. We could torture her a bit. We could blind her. So yeah, that means at that point, well, actually, hang on. Under Bulgarian law, would she be unable to... Uh, Inherit. Doesn't matter, she's already actually the queen. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look, see at my options here. I can end this anytime I want to. So, she right now is orthodox, and she kind of hates me. Her son, meanwhile, is, yeah, a bit of a useless brat, to be honest. He's, oh, he's ugly and club-footed. Okay. This is not good. But then, hang on, uh, rules of Hungary are, uh, what's the actual rules right now? Agnatic, cognatic, gavel kind. Okay, so it would all start being, uh, spread out and split up and whatnot. Although I say that, she's only actually got two titles, because yes, it's been spread out too many times. So Yakov would actually inherit both of these territories. Right now she's on minus 70 with me, which is arguably not that bad. If I just actually, yes, yeah, stopped being at war, let her out of prison mercifully... Okay, let's end the war as a starting point here. Alright, I'm going to be enforcing my demands. I'm not sure if that means she gets automatically freed. But if she does, I don't consider it the worst thing in the world. Okay, so she was automatically freed as part of that. Fine. So we inherit all of this nonsense. Great. That war's done. I don't mind the fact she's still alive. That's okay, to be honest. Minus 41, not even that bad. And that's going to wear off pretty quickly. Now, let's just very quickly create some brand new vassals for this territory, please. And, yep, yeah, create brand new vassals right there. So, those have been got rid of. And, as for the actual territory itself, well, good news, Hudden. Got something else for you today. Well, I could do that. Or, of course, I could just give it to, you know somebody else, like anyone else in court, and then make them report into uh, this guy. I mean, there's no reason he needs to have literally everything, and yay, everybody loves my dog, good news. Right, what I should do is uh, potentially check if there's anyone else in my court who could do with, you know, being rewarded, or, you know, maybe just got rid of. No one stands out, to be honest, so I'm just going to give it to uh, this guy again. Well, then again, is that... It's dangerous giving him so much power. Maybe we ought to, yeah, divide it up a little bit. Here we go. Antigone's son, Aeroneos, currently nine years old. How about we give him a bit of a landed title? Include the lower titles in that. May as well just start seeding my dynasty about. And now Chief Aeroneos will actually be made a vassal of High Chief Hudden, because it's part of his duchy anyway. So make that happen. He should be happy about that. So uh, there we flip and go. Congratulations, we've now got a new kid right here though. Oh. Okay, yeah, you need to actually get yourself sorted out with like um an heir at some point. Maybe we just need to uh, arrange uh, a betrothal for you. Um, who do we want to? Oh, hang on. Um... How are you people, uh, yeah, related again? We might want to, uh, yeah, maybe sort that out. Okay, maybe we just get someone from, like, abroad at some point. I'm sure it'll be fine. Also, Princess Anna, who is apparently... Oh, she's one of my children. Sorry, I didn't realise she was one of mine. I've got quite a few these days. She needs herself an education focus too. Or Sorry, a childhood focus, actually. Okay, she's... Maybe okay. She could maybe be a shield maiden, say. Let's just see if she's, yeah, 
willing to evolve in that direction. Might be fun to fight alongside my daughter in battle. Oh, Italian revolt going on next door. Everyone loves a good Italian revolt. And the Italian revolt has a lot more manpower than Italy. So, uh, okay. Could be looking at some changes in management over there soon. But yeah, I'd say we're actually looking uh, pretty good. And the old wound has finally healed. Yes, that was, um... That was a wound I got from the soap, you stupid spy master bastard. Also, I was already scarred. Oh, and speaking of which, um, looks like Bulgaria just sort of broke as well. So yeah, there's a bit of a Bulgarian revolt. And honestly, I don't blame these guys. Not even the flipping slightest. She was uh, not doing a spectacular job even before I got involved. This kind of works though, because if he actually becomes the new king, he doesn't hate me anywhere near as much. Also, I just remembered the guy that died was my doctor. So yeah, we need another one of them. Also, um, it would appear that the Jihad, which I thought was nowhere near here. Hang on, this is, this is going much, much worse than I expected. Um, guys, the Byzantine Empire appears to be sort of, uh, collapsing right now. So, okay, Byzantine Holy War for Cilicia has gone horribly wrong. Oh yeah, as it turned out, this guy, the monster, he's hired a giant pile of troops to basically just go and stamp on Constantinople to teach them a lesson about messing with this part of the world. Oh, this is... This is not looking good, all of a sudden. This is... Uh, this is not looking good at all, actually. Okay, I've got a new plan here. We need to start moving south. There might be, you know, some odd pickings around here. We need to start moving down here into Greece. And I can't help but notice it would appear Epirus decided to actually go independent at one point. So, uh, okay. Who have we maybe got who'd be willing to... No, nobody would be willing to come and help me. Okay. This is fine. The capital of Epirus is... Uh, where is that? Right here. Good. Good, good, good. So, there's actually... Ooh. There's a second independent bit of Epirus around here. Ah! Vikings have just been running around uh, causing trouble. Got it. How about we just go and take that? You're basically harmless at this point. Yes, we need to go and do that. We need to get down into that part of the world. So, 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 so. You, go and get me a claim down in this part of the world, please. That's going to be uh, pretty fast, actually. 16, 17% every year. That's not bad. We need to get down into Greece, start locking down some territory down over there. That might not be the worst thing in the world at all. This war is... Oh, bloody hell. Guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, so, Italy's exploding. Bulgaria's exploding. The Byzantine Empire is just falling the flip apart. Oh, bloody hell. Guys, I'm so sorry. That's fine. That's all perfectly under control. Because, uh, yeah. I'd say we need to turn our attention to something bigger and more important. Which is, I said right at the beginning, we needed to restore the Roman Empire. Now, if we're going to restore the Roman Empire... That means uh, the Byzantine Empire needs to thrive, or at the bare minimum, not be immediately bloody smashed by everyone around here. So, 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 we have managed to create a big, mighty Serbia. It's time for us to make it do something useful, damn it. It's time to join up to the closest thing to Romans that are still on the map. Because there's nothing to stop me just going straight up to uh, the Emperor and saying, Hey, how would you like me to actually come and join you? And uh, he will definitely say yes, because uh, my land uh, is good land. So, as a result of that, I mean, this is, this is a terrible, terrible time to actually, you know, join the Byzantine Empire. As you may have noticed... They're sort of in the process of being on fire right now. But this is what we need to do. This is, I mean, you know, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. They're doing okay in Sicily. They've taken a fair bit of southern Italy down here. Magna Graecia is in the hands of the Byzantine Empire. That's good. They're kicking these Vikings out of this area too. That's positive as well. Also, now I've leveled up in my society. Hang on. I want to see this. So, inspire me some warriors, please. 150. And, uh, yeah, 150 renown. Oh, flip me. That's full up instantly. And this territory had minus 70%. So that's... Okay, that's a huge jump in troops. Right there. Hang on. How quickly do I gain 150? I'm getting 17 every single month. 
Okay, so I can just refill my garrisons, including garrisons of brand new acquired territories. So, that's actually incredible. That's, that's insane and I love it. Because, yeah, we've also got this territory over here that's actually recruiting uh, very slowly right now. So, uh, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Just uh, bring time forward a bit here and... There's a woman nearby. Oh, sorry. She needs to be my new doctor, I think. And uh, she wants... Uh, ooh, a large sum of gold. How much is... That's not that large. Right, so you are very clever and uh, a giant, apparently. Still, you're a renowned physician and also celibate, scholar, shy, ambitious, kind, charitable. I like you. You're great. Oh, you're 70 years old. Okay, she might not be around for too long, but screw it. She'll be a good doctor while she's here. Right, 143. One more month gets us up to... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we need to refresh this? That was 143. When is this update, by the way? I swear this is supposed to have updated by now. Or was that already October? There it is. It's middle of the month. Maybe it's like the anniversary of me joining or something. So, there's 160. <laughs> So, uh, this territory over here, I'm going to inspire these warriors too. Oh, look, those warriors have been inspired. So, uh, wow. Okay, that's, that's ludicrous. That's absolutely ludicrous, and I love it. You know what? I'm going to celebrate this new influx of troops by suddenly uh, giving myself a big old pile of infrastructure improvements. Absolutely spot on, please. Yes, there we go. That'll do. Bunch more troops coming in there to add on to the, wow, nearly 6,000 these days. Together with 1,321. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. But don't get distracted, like, again. It's time. Your Majesty, my father had a dream of Rome restored, and uh, with your blessing, uh, I'd like to help you make it happen. Maybe not you, by the way, because I'm not convinced you're still going to be emperor. But then again, you're not bad. Those are some good stats for a 19-year-old. Well flippin' done. Uh, I'd like to join you, sir, if you'll have me, uh, and you will. Uh, meaning as a result of that, Serbia is about to join uh, the Byzantine Empire. And with that, well... <laughs> We're going to get a double the amount of land it's got, at least in terms of uh, land mass right now. And uh, give it a moment. Wait for him to say yes. He's probably just sitting there going, wow, really? Are you sure? And there we flipping go. Kaboom. The Byzantine Empire just got a lot flipping larger, which I'm now a very solid part of. In fact, arguably, I've got to be his most powerful vassal. Now... There are many, many advantages to what I have just done. Many, many advantages. I have got some big flipping plans. But for the time being, yeah, we just need to very quickly have a little bit of a loopsy. Because you may be unfamiliar with this. It was changed at one point. So, the way the actual emperorship itself works is a little bit on the funny side. It's got its own unique, unchangeable inheritance mechanic. And that is, there we go... Imperial Elective. In short, within the Byzantine Empire, there are two classes of people. There are candidates, those who might be the next emperor, and there are electors, those who get to vote. Candidates are, if I've understood this correctly, everybody who's basically like the emperor's immediate family, but also commanders or the marshal, to represent the fact that in the real Byzantine Empire, there were, you know, many occasions where actually senior military figures would end up being elevated to senior political office. Ah, yes, and also, sorry, claimants. If you've got a claim, you do actually get to be voted for. And yeah, in terms of the actual electors, members of the imperial court, so the council and commanders. However, they don't just get one vote each. The amount of strength you've got depends on how influential you are based on prestige, titles, attributes. So some electors more influential than others. Obviously, the emperor himself is the most influential elector unless he's a very bad emperor. So you can see here people have got scores here. So uh, what have we actually got? Yeah, there you go. There's a really good example. So the emperor himself 
is voting for this guy. But unfortunately, only the Emperor is voting for him. And instead, we've got ourselves Counts, we've got ourselves Bishops, we've got ourselves various Strategos there, so that's various Commanders. They've all decided, screw it, I'm voting for this guy instead, who's one of their own, a Commander. So if the Emperor just passed away tomorrow, actually, this guy would inherit, even though the Emperor doesn't want him to. And here we go, here are all the electors. So you can see there's actually, uh, there's quite a few of them. There's a fair few flipping electors floating around. And you can see here, yeah, the Emperor's got a lot of voting clout just because, uh, yeah, he just gets 195 for being prestigious, fair enough. So then we've got ourselves, yeah, Count down over here, base of five. He's a great general, so he gets a little bit more voting clout. He's a vassal, bit more voting clout. Prestigious bit more voting clout. So you can see here, yeah, everyone's ability to vote is a little bit different. So this guy down here has got a good amount of voting right there. So, cunning politician, high intrigue, brilliant general, notable vassal, and prestigious. So, right now, I'm not included in this list, but give it time, all right, because I might be about to become one of the most important electors of all, and uh, at length, of course, I wouldn't mind becoming a candidate. But I would say, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough for now. We've managed to seize ourselves a little bit of land. We've advanced in our society. We have put together one a hell of an army. Now it's time to have a think about what we want to do next. Because in theory, just in theory, we could actually sweep in and try and save Constantinople from being sacked right now. Then again, that's a lot of troops. Maybe we stay out of that one, because I'm not sure these guys are actually trying to take over. They don't actually have the claims to do it. I think all they're doing is, yeah, sacking this place because the Emperor started a holy war on them. Bad idea, by the way. Here we go, the Liege Council. Yeah, I'll be wanting a place on that, by the way, because uh, I'm pretty sure I am now... Uh, by far, your most significant vassal. Yeah, a ranger's by rank, all right? It's me, and then one of the patriarchs of the Orthodox religion, okay? I am way, way more important than any of these other dicks right now. Also, here's something I hadn't even thought about. Actually, yeah, I might actually be given control of the Republic of Ragusa, because it is well within my borders, so, ooh... Well, isn't that fascinating? Yes, there's there's a lot that's suddenly going to be relevant here. We need to go over laws, need to figure out what we're going to do politically in terms of religion, figure out who likes us, figure out who doesn't, figure out whether we're going to get involved or not, figure out whether this opens up any new uh, decisions or whatnot, keep an eye on new factions and all of that good stuff. Yeah, there's, there's a lot that needs to be done, ladies and gentlemen. So... We are now part of the Heirs of Rome, okay? This is good. This is good, good stuff here. Next time, we need to figure out what's going on inside this empire and how we're going to turn back the tide because, uh, yeah, there are problems going on down at this side of the empire. Whether we want to go and help out or whether we just want to uh, reinforce my side of the empire, this is good. But on the plus side, I'm a bit safer now. Hungary attacks me now, they have to attack the Emperor directly. There's uh, all sorts of bits and pieces we might be able to get done here. So, uh, some exciting stuff coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Crusader Kings 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, this this guy's me. enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then in come the chariot!